So today we're going to check out um, fixing a stripped hole. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Uh, yeah, I mean that hole is gone. It's uh, it's an M10 M1015. And for those of you who don't know, uh, the oil plant oil pan on the Gen 3 Chevy motors is like integral to the whole part of the block. So the um, uh, bell housing actually bolts to it with these two bolts at the bottom. So uh, I felt that fixing the the hole properly was probably a good plan. Uh, it's been like that. I think I actually didn't even have a bolt in there where it was kind of in there stuck in with uh, red Loctite maybe to get on to the last few threads. But now it's completely stripped. So what I got was one of these um, fix a thread kits uh, AutoZone sells them it's like 30 bucks but you know what i have the eight eight by one two five kit and i have this one now and that's most of the if you got the six um m6 one uh, by ones you would pretty much be able to rethread every hole on this motor it's kind of all the ones they use so um i'm gonna try to do this without the camera being mounted somewhere i, I don't know if it's gonna work it's it already the phone already fell on the floor once because the uh, I can't find my little tripod mount. So let's try it one hand and see what happens. I'm using a, a three eight bit. I think it's thirteen thirty seconds. I think is the proper size. Actually, it's like a ten point three millimeter bit or something. But this should get as close. Um, <clears throat> so the the tap's not going to have much trouble uh, eating through. Um, and then we'll see what happens here. Actually, actually, that hole is so beat up. I don't even know if I'm going to have to drill it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty gnarly in there, huh? Interesting. All right, I'm going to clean that out, and then uh, we'll start the video back. So I, I realized that the, the hole was so big, I didn't even have to drill it out. Um, and it actually says, if you read the, the packaging, it says uh, drilling isn't always necessary if the hole is really stripped out instead of just damaged or whatever. So that's what I got going on here. There was nothing, there was nothing in there. So basically, it was like it was already drilled. So... What I'm doing now is I'm running the tap in. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you know how to run a tap in. Um, I'm not too in love with this uh, insert handle as the tap handle. It just I like having just a straight bar. It's easier for me to get a good straight start. But anyway, it's going. So uh, some cutting oil on the threads. I'm doing you know half a turn in, quarter turn out, half a turn in, quarter quarter turn out. Um, I'm just kind of being, I don't want to strip it out even more. And I think I can go straight through. Yeah, I can go straight through. So I'm just going to keep running this in. I also feel like I might break the plastic on this thing. It's kind of making some creaky noises. Uh-oh. There it goes, just stripped. And this is exactly why I think this is a ridiculous tool. Look at that, stripped right out. Look at that. What's that about? This is aluminum. All right, well, let me see if I have an actual tap handle in this mess. Do whether or not it's big enough, that's the question. Might be. If it is, we're in business. And we are not in business. It's not big enough. Oh, wait. I don't know if it's meant to fit, but it fits. So let's keep going. There we go, that's much better. Right there, see? 
caught the failure of that thing on on uh, video. I had a feeling that was going to happen as I was using it. Just felt like it was going to give way. I'm going to tap this hole, do this insert, and then uh, probably make another quick video today just to give an update on everything else I did this morning because I did get quite a quite a bit done that I did not video. Uh, it was kind of like the end of the day yesterday. I, I just decided to bust out some work. Um, that and not having the mount to my stinking uh, mount my phone to the tripod kind of makes it a little more difficult. Man, even this tool's by is skipping a little bit. Maybe I'll take that out and clean it off. We're pretty much through. Bring it out a little bit, blow it off. Sorry for the video on this. It's long, probably boring, and not shot at a very good angle. This is the first time I've used one of these bigger thread repair kits. I've used a lot of eight um, of the eight millimeter kit. I actually had to buy, usually get three or four inserts in the kit. And I had to buy a whole another pack. Um, stupid little things like actually my trans is right here. Three of those uh, shifter bolt holes were stripped out. Um, so I was able to fix those with good success. They say that the, uh, and I, I mean, I can understand why. When you fix a, a hole, this method, it actually becomes stronger than the surrounding material it actually becomes stronger than the original hole um i mean the insert in this case the insert is i think steel or maybe stainless steel i'm not sure and the surrounding metal is aluminum so right there a hole threaded in aluminum versus this insert you know the insert is going to be stronger obviously okay i think we're through let's take a look yep just go a little bit more and we'll blow it out they say you don't have to use um, thread locker on the insert but I'm gonna throw some red thread locker on there uh, just a little bit just a tiny bit I don't want to go too too crazy This is how the insert goes on the tool. Um, the little tang gets uh, put in the slot there. I'm not sure why this is adjustable. I guess because there's longer inserts. I I've never had to adjust it. Um, it's always been fine for these shorter, these shorter ones. And I, I don't really think it needs to be any longer for this. This uh, application. Just gonna put a little bit of thread locker on. flies out here are horrible today it's been raining so they uh they're all in the garage now so just go ahead and thread this in going in nice and easy and then they say a quarter to a half turn below the surface I'd say that's at the surface there. 
So we'll do a half a turn. That looks good. And then the trick to these things is that tang right there. You need to bust that off. So um, what you do is you pull the tool out, rotate it 90 degrees, and then you give it a, a pop. And now it's gone. I don't even know what happened to it because it's a through hole. It went flying somewhere under there. Right down there. Doesn't matter. Who cares? So that's that. Piece of cake. Now this bolt will thread nicely in. Super strong. Be able to tighten up that bell housing at the bottom. No problems. Same uh, well, this side. This side over here. I'm tempted to just drill it out and do it, just because. I mean there's the chance that it's gonna pull on me when I go to tighten things down but it feels pretty good I'll, I'll leave it alone for now I can always do it that was quick and easy all the other holes are fine um, I've been fixing things as I go but it's been good so uh, that's that that's how you use the fix a thread